Kia ora everybody, what's up? It's Rebecca. I'm in Las Vegas and I'm drinking. As you do. Um, for anyone out there who's wanting to think about or scared of potential robots coming to take your jobs, I want to talk about rubbish for a second. And in rubbish there's picking lines. And in picking lines people go through and they sort all the shit. They figure it all out. They separate, they separate all the different um, plastics, all the shit that's not plastics, whatever. I want to show you something real quick. And this thing is going to blow your flipping mind. That is a machine which it costs, I think, $200,000. In one year it will pay for itself and it can easily last the next 10 years. Humans for the same spot, on average they're saying, can basically almost cost about the same with management and infrastructure, whatever, about another $150,000, $200,000. So the sales pitch on this is literally, buy this one machine, and one year it will pay for itself, and then you have nine more years of free without any human labor. So literally, buy this, fire humans, and then you get your 10x your return on terms of the capital investment for what you're going to do. So this right here is literally something which will be coming and taking jobs all the time. Now, techno if I own this company, I would be flipping hyped because all of a sudden I've got a 90% more efficiency with my cost. I'm basically in free, um, free labor essentially after the first year. Now this is the second part to it. If you say, oh, they're poor me, poor me, that's, that sucks. Well, not poor me, but say if you, if you do this as a job for sorting, this is the issue. And I'll, I'll explain something. I want to show you the, the speed of it. Okay, I want to talk about the speed of it. This machine can pick 30, about 35 different things per minute. Guess how many, how many the humans will do per minute if someone's watching them? 25. So it's already basically 30% more efficient than humans already per minute. But that is 25 pieces per minute if they're being watched by management. The data is showing, and I was talking to the crew here, that if no management is there and if the, the staff are left to their own devices, guess how many they pick? 10. 10. So <laughs> they basically don't give a shit and they don't they aren't actually doing their flipping job right. So you get a machine which does 35 a minute and it pays for itself in one year and you get it basically for free. Obviously you got your maintenance and stuff on it, but basically there's no other staffing costs. If you keep the humans, you, that's a 10x cost for the next 10 years, plus they're going to be uh, basically 60% more inefficient with their time. So, I don't know what the answer is, but right here ladies and gentlemen, this is what's going to be taking jobs and dominating more and more and more, right here. Crazy. Flipping nuts.